In this video, I'm going to show you how you can draw a um, clip art sunflower using shapes rather than using the Bezier pen. So the first thing we want to do is grab our uh, star and polygon tool here underneath the circle, and I'm going to hold control and drag out whatever it drags out. It does not matter, okay, because we're going to change that. At corners, we're going to change that to 11. And spoke ratio, we're going to change that to 7 or uh, 0. 0.750. Hit enter. And then, oops, <laughs> that didn't work right, did it? This is supposed to be 750. There we go. And rounded, I'm going to have 80. Okay. And that rounds these corners. And the spoke ratio is the distance between the outer circle and the spoke uh, uh, inner, if that makes sense. If I raise this, you'll see. See that? Okay. So I'm going to change this back to 750. Okay, now what I'm going to do is select it and control D on the keyboard to duplicate it. I'm going to change it a different color, doesn't matter what color. Click on it again, hold control and left click and drag on this arrow until it looks like that. Okay, now it's not exactly even in all the spots, but we're, we can fix that. Okay, click on it again. Um, hold shift and control, left click on an arrow, I always use the bottom right, and shrink that down. And what you're looking for is this little spoke to be sticking out here, okay? Um, that might be a little too small, I'm not sure. All right, now let's open fill and stroke, which is this little paintbrush icon here, just click on that. And let's also open a line and distribute, which are these three two uh, three two <laughs> three bars up here at the top. I'm sorry, it's late. It's been a long day. Um, basketball, go Michigan! Oh, the video, yeah. Um, so once you have those open, let's lift left click and draw a box around both of these images, and let's center them on a vertical axis and. A horizontal axis okay <clears throat> then what we're going to do is go to path union okay uh, let's draw a circle hold control you can hold shift and control to get a symmetrical circle I'm going to change that a different color as well I'm going to select it first and then I'm going to place that in the center I'm going to select both of those and I'm going to center them vertically and horizontally. And I'm going to deselect. Now this I might want a little bit smaller, I'm not sure. I'm checking the distance between here and here. Um, we're going to go with that. Select it again, just to make sure, center it vertically and horizontally. Then I'm going to do path difference. Okay. Now, as you can see, these look tilted. Um, you know, they're not in the center like these are. So what you can do is go to your node editor here, zoom in a little bit, left click on that node and just pull it out. And you can hold your control and click on these little circles and it will put them back um, inside their nodes where it's going to make um, your lines straight again instead of having a little bit of a curve. Okay, if you do these though, you're not going to have the rounded, um, that 0.80 rounded. See, this is, has a sharp point, so you can go ahead and play with that. Um, <clears throat> now, what I'll do is I'll take a rectangle 
and I'll just draw my stem. Okay, I'll go to path, object to path, go to my node editing tool, select these two nodes by left clicking and dragging, and I'm going to add a node. Okay, that's right above your selection tool on the left hand side. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab, whoops, this middle one, and I'm going to make it smooth with this little icon here. And I'll pull that out and just so that it's not square at the bottom. You can left click in these little circles and pull them out and it makes it more rounded as you can see. Okay. Then you can select all of this and go to path union. Now, if you find your stem too long or you don't like how this looks, just go to your node editor again and you can adjust all of this. Okay. However you want to adjust it. You can double click and add a node if you need to add a node. Um, you know, you can play around with that. So I'm going to just leave it like that for now. And then um, we need leaves. So let's go back to our star and let's change our corners to three. We want to make a triangle. So let's left click and draw out a triangle. Well, that doesn't really look like a triangle, does it? So let's go back to our star. And let's change this to about 50. And we'll change our rounded back to zero. And maybe this needs to be 150. Oh, how about we just reset it? <laughs> that always works. And then we'll set our corners to three. There we go, there's our triangle. All right, so let's grab this and let's rotate it so that we have a point on this end. And let's shrink it down some and put it on our flower. Now we can change this to different colors so we can see the difference here. Um, and then we're gonna go back to our node editor again. Uh, and, oops. Let's select this first and go to path object path and then go to our node editor and we can start moving these around. I'm going to go ahead and delete that one. I just hit selected it and hit delete on the keyboard. I want these kind of close together. Then I'm going to select this. I'm going to make this smooth by clicking on this icon here, make selected node smooth. And I'm going to also do that for this one. I'll leave this one sharp. And then we just maneuver these around to make some sort of leaf shape. Now, if you're not getting these handles, I guess I should have said this earlier, um, make sure that when you're in your node editing tool here on the left hand side, that this um, icon is checked. Show Bezier handles of selected nodes. Okay. If that's not highlighted, then you're not going to get these. All right. And you can let, just left click and drag on them however you want your shape to be for your leaf. Once you have what you want, let's control D to duplicate it. Select it with your selection arrow. And go up here to where it says flip selected objects horizontally. Click on that, hold control, left click, and drag this over to the other side. Now, as you know, no two, two leaves are exactly the same. So let's go back to the node editing tool and we'll just give this a little different shape. Let's see, I want to move this over here, I think. Pull this out.
you know, you can play with that. All right. Once you're all done, select it all. If you want it all one color, uh, I guess I should have said that before I unioned the stem to the circle. Um, if you don't want them all one color, then don't union, okay? If you want it one color, this obviously is a sunflower, so it would be yellow. If you wanted your stem to be green or brown, whatever, um, don't union this with your stem, and you'll have um, different layers when you bring it into design space that you can cut the sunflower out of yellow, the stem out of brown, and the leaves out of green if you want. All like colors, though, like these two green leaves, you can go ahead and union, path union. Then that's going to make it one layer when you take it into design space. Select it all, hold shift and control, and make it kind of small to fit inside your page border. Um, not only that, but make it small because there's uploading issues with design space. So, all right, that's it. Go to File, Save As. <clears throat> File, Save As. <laughs> there we go. Uh, desktop, Sunflower, Inkscape, Plain SVG. Save. Okay. Um, that's how you do that. It's maybe not the best way. Um, but it is one way. Uh, you can use your Bezier pen and you can draw with that. You know, you can freehand with your pencil. Uh, if you're using a mouse, though, that's not always the easiest thing to do. Um, I like the Bezier pen because I have points that I can manipulate and move around. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video, even though I won't see you. <laughs>